Okay, so uh, good day. So this is uh, again the MC Squared Coaching Center, and this is the uh, part four of civil service exam mathematics uh, frequently asked questions. So dito sa part four meron na tayo limang limang problems, and most of problems here are ano by uh, request po na isolve po natin gawa ng ng uh, solution. Okay, so uh, I hope maintindihan niyo po yung uh, pagkaka-solve ko at yung pagkaka-discuss ko. Pero if ever hindi man, uh, you can, ano naman, questions me uh, directly. Okay, so i-PM niyo po ako sa Facebook or sa Messenger. Pakilala po kayo na nag-view niyo yung, yung uh, YouTube ko po. So again, don't forget to subscribe and then uh, share po yung, yung uh, uh, lecture ko po para makatulong naman po sa sa iba. Okay, so let's start. Okay, problem number one. Four times the perimeter of a parking lot is 16 less than 2,000 meters. What is the perimeter of the parking lot? Again, four times the perimeter of a parking lot is 16 less than 2,000 meters. What is the perimeter of the lot? Is it letter A, 496 meters? Letter B, 504 meters. Letter C, 992 meters. And letter D, 1,008 meters. So, kailangan lang class in a given problem, yung uh, statement ma-convert natin into equation. So, 4 times. So, therefore, let perimeter as P. So, therefore, 4P. Okay? The 4 times the perimeter of a parking lot is 16 less than 2,000. So, therefore, 4P minus 16. Bakit tayo nag-minus? Kasi sabi sa problem, less than. Okay? So, ayan po siya. 4P minus 16 equals to 2,000. Okay? Tapos, uh, ayan po yung equation natin and then solve po natin si P. So, transpose po natin si 16 to the other side. So, therefore, multiply both sides of our equation sa left at sa right ng 16. So, plus 16 plus 16. So, mangyayari, we have 4P equals to 2,000 plus 16. Ito po yung 16. Nilipat lang po natin sa kabila. Equals to 2,016. And then, in order for us to solve for P, divide natin yung left side ng 4 and divide natin yung right side also ng 4. So, there, so therefore, ang mangyayari, you have P equals to 2,016 divided by 4. And yung 2,016 divided by 4 Ang result po niyan is 504. Or therefore, the perimeter of a parking lot is 504 meters. Problem number 2. Simplify 33 one third percent of 48 plus 12 one half percent of 96 minus 44 4 over 9 percent of 27. Remember class, if given po tayo in P percent, para makuha po natin siya in decimal, kailangan lang P over 100. So halimbawa, if we have uh, 30 percent, in decimal, is ter uh, in fraction, you have, not in decimal po pala, that is in fraction, 30 over 100. Or yung 30 over 100, yun po yung 0 0.3. Okay? Again, if given po in P percent, convert that into fractional form, that is P over 100. Okay. So, ito lang po yung concept na gagamitin natin in order for us to simplify this expression. So, therefore, ang P natin dito sa umpisa is 33 one third. So, therefore, 33 one third divided by 100, that is in fractional form. So, 33 one third of 48. Usually, itong of, that is we multiply lang po natin sa 48. Ibig sabihin, 33 one third percent of 48. So, ayan po siya, class. Ito yung P, and ito yung 100. So, by by uh, property ng, fra ng fraction, so, gawin man muna natin itong improper fraction. Paano nga gawin itong improper fraction? 33, uh, 3 times 33 plus 1. 3 times 33, 99 plus 1, that is 100 over 3. So, ito po siya. So, itong 100 over 3 also equals to 33 over 1 third. And then by the, the rules of fraction, 1 over, 100 over 3 divided by 100, so bababa itong 100. But take note, pareha silang 100, so therefore pwede lang po natin i-cancel. Okay, pwede lang po natin i-cancel. So, ayan po siya. 
So, 100 over 3 divided by 100. So, 100 over 3 times 100. Ito na po siya, class. And then, itong 100 na to, pwede na po nating ma-cancel. So, therefore, 48 divided by 3. So, 48 divided by 3, that is, what? 16. Okay? So, 16 po yung sagot. So, therefore, ibig sabihin po niyan, class, 33 one third percent of 48 is 16. Next naman po is itong 12 and 1 half percent of 96. In, in decimal, this is 12.5 percent. 12.5 percent of 96. So, in fractional form, uh, ganito po yung forma. 12 and 1 half over 100. So, ito yung P, ito yung 100 times 96. Kasi 12 and 1 half percent of 96 po siya. Then, gawin po natin itong improper fraction. 2 times 12, that is 24. Plus 1, magiging 25. Again, 2 times 12, 24 plus 1 magiging 25. So, mangyayari, if simplify po natin ito, magiging, what? 25 over 2, yan po yung 12, 1 half. So, divided by 100 times 96. So, 25 over 2, divided by 100, ang itsura po niya magiging ganito. So, yan po yung 25 over 2 times 100 times 96. Take note that 100 divided by 25, that is 4. So, therefore, ito may E1 na lang dito plus is 4. So, cancel na to. Ito magiging 4. Then, 4 times 2, that is 8. Then, 96 divided by 8, that is what? That is 12. Okay, that is 12. Next naman is, itong 12, na, uh, before time closing class, itong 12 po is the result ng 12, 1 half percent of 96, that is well, next naman is 44, 4 over 9 percent of 27. Ito po siya, 44, 4 over 9 over, over 100. Gawin natin improper fraction, 9 times 144 plus 4, magiging 400 over 9. Kasi 44 times 9, that is 396. Okay? 396. Then, pag-simplify natin, 400 over 9 divided by 100. So, magiging 400 over 9 times 100. So, ito na po siya. I-cancel natin ito class kasi 400 divided by 100 that is 4. So, magiging 4 over 9. Then, 27 divided by 9 that is 3. So, 4 times 3. So, that is 12. Okay? So, again, 44, 4 over 9 percent of 27 is 12. 12, 1 half percent of 96 is 12. And 33, 1 third percent of 48 is 16. So, therefore, you have 16. Plus 12 minus 12. So therefore, the correct answer is letter B, that is 16. If M is greater than N, and N is greater than O, and O is equals to P, and P is greater than Q, which of the following represents the largest value? So, that is the first statement, M is greater than N n is greater than o, then o equals to p, and p is greater than q. If we will combine these four, ang mangyari, yan po siya. m is greater than n, and n is greater than p, in which p also equals to o, and then therefore p is greater than q. For us to get the largest value, sa limang choices na to, dapat yung numerator is largest and denominator is smallest. So, sa tatlo, ito yung largest and ito yung smallest. So, therefore, the largest value is M over Q. And that is letter or number number 3. Okay, ayun po, klaro po yung pagkakadiscuss po. Problem number 4. Last year, an egg dealer in Laguna produced 2,073 eggs. This year, the same farmer produced 9,399 eggs. How many more eggs did the farm produce this year? So, actually, ang tanong lang, uh, ano yung difference? Gaano karami yung na-produce ng uh, farmer ngayon compared to before? So, therefore, isasubtract lang natin 9399 minus 2,073. So, therefore, that is letter A, 7,326. Okay, so last problem for part 4. Lebron and James are going up the hill to pull weeds. Lebron can pull 
all of the weeds by himself in eight hours. If James help him, they can pull the same amount of weeds in five hours. How long would it take James to pull the weeds working alone? Again, Lebron and James are going up the hill to pull weeds. Lebron can pull all of the weeds by himself in 8 hours. So the rate of Lebron is 1 over 8. If James helps him, they can pull the same amount of weeds in 5 hours. Itong 5 hours is the time that they will work together. Ang tanong ngayon is ano yung time na pag si James lang mag-work alone. So in equation, ganyan po siya. So ito yung kay James, uh, ito yung kay Lebron, ito yung kay James working alone, and ito yung working together. And from the problem, D1 is 8, DT is 5. So therefore, you have, ito yung kay Lebron, ito yung rate ni James, ito yung rate ng working together. So therefore, simplify na lang natin. Ipag simplify, multiply both sides ng equation ng 8 times James times 5. So yan po yung ibig sabihin ko po. Okay? So, sa first term, cancel ang 8, cancel ang 8. So, ang may iiwan is 5 times James. Yan po siya. Sa so, second term, cancel ang James, cancel ang James. Ang may iiwan, 8 times 5. Dito naman, cancel ang 5, cancel ang 5. Ang may iiwan, 8 times James. So, is parehas ito na naka-James. The, the, the work done na pag si James lang. So, transpose this into the right side. So, mangyari, 8 times 5 equals 8 James minus 5 James. So, 8 minus 5, that is 3. So, therefore, you have, ito naman, 8 times 5, 40. 8 minus 5, that is 3. So, therefore, James equals to 40 over 3. So, therefore, uh, it would take 40 over 3 hours, James, to pull the weeds working alone. And that is letter, letter A. Okay, so, Plus, pag sinabing working together, always yan, i-add mo yung two rates. Okay? Two rates pag working together. Okay? So, I hope klaro po yung pagkakasolve, eh, pagkakadiscuss, and if my question, message lang po. Okay? So, again, thank you for watching, and don't forget to click subscribe and share para maka-help po tayo sa Iba po. Again, if my request na mga problems, don't hesitate. Huwag mahiyang mag-message. I-message ko po yung problem and then gagawan po natin ng discussion. Again, have a nice day and enjoy studying.